All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a fake Boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And while I initially decided yesterday to stay out of this whole drama with everything money and the day trading thing, after I saw the video that was made today on their channel, I really need to say something. And let me, le let, let me reiterate. I think Everything Money is a great channel and I still support them. Now there's been some fascistic activity out there that's been saying that I endorse Everything Money and I endorse them, you know, their $10,000 consultation and their day trading. I wanna be very clear. I don't endorse people paying $10,000 for a consultation with Paul, no matter how much you love him. It'd be much better to put $10,000 into a tax advantage account. 100% agree. Now, if you really think Paul gives that much value and you're gonna pay him $10,000, that's your decision. I would not personally do that, okay? So, a video came out today from Everything Money and it was Trader Mo. This is one of the, I guess you could call them, subsidiaries of Everything Money, the other day trading thing. And he said that how much, he was talking about how much money you would need to retire from day trading. And the number he quoted was $250,000. Now, since I'm a rich man, I can tell you I have more than that saved in my tax advantage accounts, my taxable accounts, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't do that by day trading, number one. And number two, I am under no impressions that I can retire right now with a wife, two kids, and a bunch of other responsibilities. Why? Because you need a lot more than a quarter million dollars to retire. Now, I looked up the median income of the average American household. And this may not be exact, so don't go through, you're off by a thousand dollars, strong man. It's roughly $70,000 a year, and that's before taxes. After taxes, you're probably getting a lot less than that, maybe 50,000. Now, to generate $70,000 a year from day trading, you would have to get a 28% return roughly every single year from day trading to be able to retire off a quarter million dollars. This assumes you make, you just trade and trade and trade. You make 28% and that generates roughly $70,000 pre-tax, okay? First of all, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> how many times do I have to reiterate this? Day trading is gambling. I'm sure there's a process I'm sure some people can make money, but 99% of the time, you're not gonna make any money. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to lose money. You are trading, you are trying to time a market that is inherently volatile. Why? Because the market is composed of people and institutions trading stocks between each other. And people are inherently emotional. And on top of that, you cannot predict where a stock's gonna go. Okay, look at Baba this morning. Oh, they beat earnings. Yeah, I'll be looking into that later. Oh, they beat earnings, blah, 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 blah. And the stock went up 6%. And then it crashed right back down. And now it's only up like 1% as of making this video. Who could have predicted that? How could you possibly know that that's going to happen? Now, traders will say, well, you can look at uh, buying and selling volume and blah, 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 blah. But think about how many times the market has skyrocketed and then crashed and done this and that. It's impossible to predict. And on top of that, as a trader, you're trading against professionals. You're trading against freaking computers, supercomputers. You don't think Wall Street has massive advantages with day trading? Of course they do. They're going to defeat you. And even if you make money on day trading, you're generating short-term capital gains taxes. Now, short-term capital gains are taxed at your marginal tax bracket. And you can actually be pushed into a higher tax bracket the more money you make on trading. So you could be potentially paying 22% taxes at the federal level, you know, up to 37%. Yeah, that's the highest tax bracket. You could be paying a lot of freaking money in taxes. So on top of gambling, now you're incurring these tax liabilities and you have to get a 28% return. Now the market on average does a 10% return. On average, 
you know, sometimes it goes up massively, sometimes it crashes massively. But on over the long run, at least historically, it's made 10%. Do you really think with a quarter million dollars in order to generate the average household income of $70,000, do you honestly think you're going to get a 28% return pre-tax? You're not going to, okay? So I really wanted to sit this out, but what's happening is everything money is they're a great channel. I, I still support them. I still do. But at the end of the day, this, this may not be popular with some people. And the reason I support them is because you look at the uh, the broad expanse of YouTube, okay? You got me mega grifters that just pump whatever's popular, blah, 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 blah. You have a bunch of crypto clowns that are complete scum and scammers. And then you have these new people coming in who are criticizing the bigger YouTubers. And I understand that. I've done the same thing as well. And it's really hard to find a channel where you can get decent information. I like everything money because at least at a minimum, even if they aren't the best things in sliced bread, at least they're looking at fundamentals. At least they tell you to have patience and not buy into hype stocks. And if you had listened to them in 2020, 2021, you would have saved yourself a lot of money. Look deep down inside. They were criticizing all the clown stocks, the same ones I was. And guess what? All those freaking clown stocks crashed massively. And now they're going back up all of a sudden, but they're still down massively. So you guys give them crap for BABA and Intel, and that's fine. I mean, they're, they could be wrong. They could be right. It's too early to tell. But I can tell you, at least they're looking at companies that are well, generally, that are profitable, that have had growing revenues, at least in the past. And at least they're looking at some basic fundamentals, okay? Find me 10 YouTubers out of the hundreds or thousands of finance YouTubers that actually do that. So no, I'm not going to sit here and say everything money is complete and utter trash and they're scammers, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to say that. However, I think they are making a, they're making a mistake, personally, by talking about this day trading stuff. And that video that they put up saying you can retire off a quarter million dollars, that's borderline irresponsible. You cannot retire off a quarter million dollars. If that was the case, I'd be retired already. And I'm not even close to retirement. I want millions of dollars before I retire. So this I'm, I'm not going to attack everything. I'm never going to attack them like I do other channels. I like them. I think they have a great channel. But they need to be careful. You guys need to stop doing this day trading crap. Or if you do it, don't put out freaking videos saying that, oh, you know, you could retire up, get 28% returns roughly. I mean, they didn't say that specifically, but you could retire off a quarter million dollars. It's not the case. Okay, that's wrong. And that's, that's irresponsible. So hopefully you guys heed this message. Hopefully you guys change the course of your channel. Because like a lot of things that happen on YouTube, you can make mistakes. And at the end of the day, you know, two, three months later, most people forget about them. So... I would highly advise you guys stop with the day trading crap. And if you want people to day trade, you should be very, very clear that they should do that with a very small percentage of their portfolio. And you should tell them, you should show them the, the facts that the vast majority of day traders lose money. That should be like a requirement to sign up for the bid and ask nation. They should go through a whole training course where they say, look at the facts. It's very hard to day trade. Most people lose money. If you want to do this, you should do this with a very small part of your portfolio. And you should not be saying people should are able to retire off a quarter million dollars. So that's my thoughts. I'm sure people, some people will be mad. Oh, they're trash. I don't think they're trash. 100%. We'll see. Talk to you later. Cheers.